Welcome back in. It is going to be a clear and pleasant evening for fireworks displays. Temperatures in the mid 70s, a little bit warmer than last night, so you don't need that light jacket if you are headed out to see the lights. The Arc Chevy of Perrysburg camera shows you nothing but blue in the sky for those fireworks in Perrysburg this evening. Looking at current temperatures across the region, Maumee fireworks show is going to be in the 70s. Out in Swanton, fireworks will be a little bit warmer with temps in the low 80s. A little bit cooler towards the Lake and Bay Point Place and Oregon checking in in the upper 70s. If you're headed out for an evening walk at Pearson Metro Park, it'll be a nice one. Northwood at 79 degrees this evening. It's a little bit cooler there right along the lake shore at 78 in Port Clinton, 75 on Marblehead, which matches our Lake Erie temperature of 75. It'll be a nice day out on the water if you are headed to the lake tomorrow. First alert Doppler, we are high and dry right now. Still a few puppy clouds, but those should dissipate right around sunset just in time for those fireworks displays this evening. Now, as we head towards the 4th of July, it is going to get hot and humid. Bring on the summer sizzle 92 degrees for tomorrow. And believe it or not, the wind will be coming in out of the northwest, not the southwest. But even with that breeze, it is still going to be a hot and muggy one just about all day long. Lots of fun festivities going on. But if you're headed downtown for the WTOL River Run 10K, layer on that sunscreen. It will be a bright one with temperatures warming up from the 60s to the 70s and not not much shade here in downtown Toledo, so I'd recommend layering on that sunscreen and wearing a hat and sunglasses. If you're headed out to the lake tomorrow, our current lake temperature is 75 degrees. I'm forecasting a high in the 90s. It's going to be a pretty calm one out on the water. Waves should be less than two feet. The winds are going to start off out of the northwest at around 10 knots, but they will shift to a little bit more of an easterly wind by the evening. All things considered, it's going to be a nice and calm one out on the water or just along the beach. Temperature wise, it'll be in the 70s already tomorrow morning. It's going to be a hot and humid 4th of July. By the afternoon, Toledo is going to hit 90 degrees. Could even get to 93 in BG and Fremont. A little bit further to the south. Right around 92 in Finley, 91 degrees in Ottawa. And the dew point is going to rise, meaning more humidity in the air. Tomorrow morning, the dew point will be in the 60s. By comparison, today's in the 50s. It's a little bit less muggy today, but 4th of July is going to be a bit more of a humid feeling day. By the afternoon on the 4th, the dew point could hit 70 degrees. It'll feel muggy for those backyard barbecues and cookouts. Should feel nice in the shade, though, with a little bit of a breeze. First alert 10 day forecast keeps us dry and summer feeling through Monday, but I am keeping a close eye on these pop up sh showers and thunderstorms. Hopefully those don't throw a loop in the opening week, the Marathon Classic, but Wednesday into Thursday, a cold front's likely to bring some rain and thunder. Heading towards next weekend, a little bit of relief from the heat and overall temperatures settling down to the low 80s, but looking like a picture perfect 4th of July, Amy.